All right, everybody, welcome to our Music Theory for Singers video series. Now, this is going to work really, really, it's, it's going to work wonders for your musicianship and for your ability to learn new songs, to improvise, to sing with bands, to, to write your own music, um, and to just understand the songs that you're already singing. Um, and help you understand music on an entirely different level. And it's gonna improve your pitch, it's gonna improve your performances, and trust me, you're gonna thank me by the time you get to the end of this series. You're like, wow, I really know so much more and I'm, I, I understand music a lot now on a very deep level. And that's what you need to do as a singer. Now, as singers, we have to do something kind of complicated. Most people, when they learn an instrument, they learn, uh, they learn it one key at a time. And what I mean by a key is, um, for a major scale, for example, we've all heard this. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. That's the key of C major, okay? No sharps or flats, just C major. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now that's well and good, and that's awesome. But the next thing that the next key up that as singers, you know, we've been doing this back and forth. We do these exercises. Now, because we're singers, we have to do that. We have to sing these notes in every key, you know, all up and down our range all day long. Now, another instrumentalist has the luxury of just staying in the key of C until they kind of memorize all the notes and patterns and stuff. Then they'll move to the key of G, for example, because the key of G only has one sharp, um, F sharp. G, A, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, G, F sharp, E, D, C, B, A, G. Now, that's fantastic if that's an option, but as singers, it's not. And what happens is if we try to use the letter system for naming notes as singers, what's going to happen is our first thing we're going to sing in the key of C, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. The next thing we're going to sing is D flat, E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, C, D flat. Now that is a ridiculous number of flats to have to learn um, when, if you're trying to name that, if I'm trying to explain that to you, and I say, okay, We've got a major chord, and that's going to be a D flat, F, and an A flat. But then, if we're going to make it minor, we're going to flat the third there. So we're going to make that D flat, F flat, A flat. It's I can already hear you glazing over, and I can hear you, this is too much. This is way too much. And I agree. So what we're going to do is simplify this for you, okay? We're going to name all of our scale to our, all of our scales according to numbers all right we're just we're going to abandon those letter names and we're not going to worry about that we're going to say instead of c d e f g a b c we're going to call these notes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 1 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 1 1 now what this does is now we still have to learn music theory right we have to learn our scales and chords and they're still going to have some of those, they're going to have the degrees of the scale, sharped or flatted, and we still have to learn that. But now instead of having to learn that in 12 different ways for 12 different keys, we're going to learn it one time and one time only. We're going to learn everything in the key of C, in the key of C major, and we're going to learn it all according to those numbers, all relative to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1... And when we go to sing our scales and chords, and we, as singers do, move them straight up and down the keyboard, starting at all 12 different notes, instead of having to worry about letter names, we're just going to move those numbers up and keep right on singing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 1, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 1, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Because we're singers. We have to be able to hear these sounds. If you don't have an ear that can distinguish pitch, if you can't play music by ear, you can't sing. That's just not going to work. So we're going to be 
making music with our ears and not by reading off a sheet of music. Even if we are learning to sight read, you're still going to have to be able to hear it. Whereas other instrumentalists can learn to play music when they can't even distinguish between the different note types yet. That's not going to work for a singer. So we're just going to simplify and name all these notes according to numbers of scale degrees, and it's going to make things a whole lot easier. Okay? So all you have to do is be able to count to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. One, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I think you guys can do that. Now, this is the jazz number system. This is a way of, that musicians communicate. Um, you're going to see it a lot as you grow as a musician and play music with other people. And I think you're going to find it's a fantastic way to look at music and to learn it. And this is going to allow us to get right into music theory at a level that a lot of people, it takes years and years for them to do this because they have to learn the old Western classical music notation system. And we're just going to forego that completely. We're going to throw that right out the window and we're going to learn this stuff by ear with some very simple numbers and it's going to work really well and you're going to love it. And we're getting started right now. All right, let's do this.